So upgrading the OEM lighting wasn't enough for you, huh? Alrighty then, time for some more upgrades. Hey there everyone, welcome to FJX 2000 Productions and another episode of Let's FJ. My name is Hayden, and in today's video we will be looking at aftermarket lighting upgrades for the FJ Cruiser. In part 1 of this series, I talked about all the upgrades you can do to the OEM lighting of the FJ, like the headlights, tail lights, mirror lights, etc. But in this video, I want to dive into all the fun aftermarket extras one can add to the FJ to light up the night and increase the visibility even more. Before we begin, I want to thank all of my amazing subscribers for your support. And if you're new here, welcome! As you can tell, I love FJ Cruisers, so if you enjoyed today's video or find it helpful, consider subscribing, because that's what this channel is all about. You can find me on the fjcruiserforums.com or Instagram at fjx2000 if you have any questions for me. Or if you want to possibly see your own FJ in future videos, feel free to send photos or videos over. Remember to like and share the video with your fellow FJ owners, but thanks again for all the support. Anyways, let's get started. As previously mentioned, the stock lighting on the FJ consists of a lot of halogen bulbs which leave much to be desired in terms of brightness compared to modern LEDs. But before we get into the fancy aftermarket upgrades for FJs, I'll briefly mention the OEM lighting upgrades offered by Toyota. A popular choice that could have been added or came on some FJs was the front bumper auxiliary driving lights. These were 6 inch round halogen lights that are simply Hella 500 series lights with a special FJ lettered stone shield. These are mounted on top of the front bumper, but the mounts are also designed to work in conjunction with the OEM brush guard. These came with their own on off switch in the center console, but they only turn on when the high beams are activated. Another similar upgrade was the roof's off-road lights with air dam. These were the exact same lights as the front bumper driving lights, but can only be mounted with the air dam to the OEM roof rack. These came with their own special switch for the center console that had a small curved line below the light, indicating that these were for up on the roof. And finally, in later years and in other markets, Toyota offered OEM halogen fog lights that are in the bumper trim corner pieces. For factory equipped models, the fog lights are turned on using a knob on the turn signal light switch lever. And finally, I'll mention how for certain model years and packages in other countries, they could come with the spider fog lights that have four smaller fog lights versus the two larger ones Toyota used, and they come with a daytime running light LED strip. Yet, even if your FJ was equipped with all the OEM auxiliary lighting upgrades, these pale in comparison to the LED bars and pod lights that are currently popular. So let's dive into those. I will divide up the lighting upgrades based on mounting locations or purpose, but obviously there are unlimited options available, so I will just be mentioning the most popular options or general possibilities. Beginning at the front of the FJ, a popular choice is the installation of driving lights or spotlights to increase the front visibility beyond what the headlights provide. Usually these lights are mounted on top of the stock bumper or even aftermarket bumpers. But some folks also take advantage of the FJ's grills too. People can either mount lights behind the grills or use flush mounts to mount them in the grill. There are even companies who offer aftermarket grills that allow LEDs to be mounted in them, which really makes for a clean look. Lights mounted on the bumper are more traditional, but some mount them to the brush guard or bull bar if they have them. Some bumpers even have LED bars mounted within them or incorporated into their design. Mounting spot or driving beams in the middle of the bumper for further visibility is a popular choice but many folks also utilize flood beams facing off to the sides to help with peripheral visibility. Two round lights are common, but I've also seen three and four light combos, or you can do what I did and run an LED bar. There are literally countless options and combos for lights, so just do what fits your needs or wants. Moving on to fog lights, these are usually mounted lower than the headlights and offer better visibility through difficult to see conditions, such as fog, dust, and snow. A popular choice is to get these lights with amber lenses, as the amber coloring does a better job at cutting through the dust or snow and allowing the driver to see the road ahead. Some FJ owners will find ways to install these themselves in the OEM bumper, with clever cutting or trimming. 
but aftermarket bumpers offer lots of possibilities for mounting and may even have room for multiple fog lights. Going up to the top of the FJ Cruiser, roof mounted lights are also a popular choice. If mounted facing forwards, these can help with greater distance visibility and even aid in seeing over hills or rises on the road ahead as you approach them. Many light combos work for the roof, like my four light combo on my first FJ to the three LED bar combo once offered by Rigid Industries. But mounts exist out there that accommodate all different types and numbers of lights. Some mount directly to the OEM roof rack, while others just utilize the mounting holes for the roof rack. One unique mount is the one offered from DB Customs, which mounts a little lower and directly to the A pillars. Pretty neat, huh? Currently, 50 inch LED bars, whether straight or curved, are probably the most popular option. But if you're getting this style of mount for a 50 inch bar, buyers beware. This design was originally developed by ResFab, who used quality thick steel for their product. But many cheap knockoffs exist now, and I've seen them rust through and break quite easily due to their thin metal design. Just be cautious of what you buy or who you buy it from. They can typically be spotted by their knockoff FJ lettering, which is usually weirdly shaped, upside down, or backwards from what it should be. So just be smart when you go to buy these. Lots of folks run aftermarket roof racks, and often these allow for the option to mount LED bars directly to them. It is perhaps the cleanest way to add an LED bar to your build, and it may help cut down with wind noise as well. As many LED bars on the roof are known to cause whistling at highway speeds or other annoying noises. Other aftermarket roof racks may come with their own light mounts, like these from Baja Rack. But the slickest design I've seen is this spy light system from Baja Rack which uses a motorized unit to raise and lower the LED bar. It can even be controlled while on the go. Such a cool option. But finishing off the next most popular light for the front of the FJ, we have cowl lights. These mount right to the cowl trim pieces at the bottom corners of the windshield and allow for another unique spot to mount a variety of lights. Plus, unlike the OEM mirror lights, these actually do something. Some go with spot beams to help with driving, while others mount a flood beam and aim it out to the sides to help with turning visibility. That's sort of what I've done with my build. The name brand for this mount is going to be the one from DB Customs. And again, there are lots of copycat knockoffs on the market, so be careful who you buy from. The fit and finish of these low quality knockoffs can cause frustration upon installation. And again, their FJ logos often use wonky lettering so be careful who you buy them from. But one lucky advantage of installing these mounts is it will prevent that pesky driver's side cowl panel from blowing off on the highway should the clips fail, a common FJ issue for those who have replaced their windshield but didn't replace these temperamental clips. Moving to the rear of the FJ, the most beneficial upgrade folks can do here is install reverse lights so you can finally see what's behind you as you back up since swapping out the reverse bulbs will only do so much. Reverse lights are the perfect application for a flood style beam, so you get plenty of light coverage in the area immediately behind you. Many folks retrofit flush mounted LED pod lights into their OEM bumpers, which is certainly a tried and true way to go. But for those who want to install an aftermarket rear bumper at some point, keep in mind that some manufacturers allow for rear light mounting locations. Another option could be these rear door light mounts from DB Customs. These bolt onto both sides of the spare tire carrier and are a great alternative to adding lights if you aren't keen on cutting holes into your FJ's bumper. But you can even come up with a creative light mounting option on your own. But speaking of flood beams, for those with roof racks on their FJs, a great addition to increase all around visibility of the FJ are side and rear scene or work lights. With a flood beam on these, you will then have 360 vision around the FJ at night. Some companies manufacture mounts that will work with the OEM roof rack or any other tube style of rack. But keep in mind that there are select roof rack manufacturers who leave designated mounting locations in their roof racks for integrated lighting. Another great option for those who love to do night wheeling are rock lights. These are lights one can install in their wheel wells or underneath the FJ to help with spotting rocks and obstacles in the dark. 
If you do more intense trails where a spotter is needed, these can be really useful on night runs. But even if you don't find yourself needing spotting, they are also simply a cool looking addition to your rig and are basically the underglow equivalent for rock crawlers. So far, these have been the most popular and common locations I see folks in the FJ Cruiser community mounting their aftermarket lights. But as I mentioned, the sky is the limit. Some unique lighting upgrades include modifying the FJ's OEM hood, so the false vent becomes a perfect slot for adding a slim LED bar behind it, while others simply drill their LED bars directly into the hood in that same location. And though it makes more sense to add side-facing lights on the roof rack, this FJ installed these lights in the rear fender for whatever reason. A little crazy to me, but to each their own. Marker lights in the grills of vehicles have become extremely popular in the auto scene ever since they were introduced on the Ford Raptor. So plenty of folks now add these lights to their own FJ's grills. I've seen three and four marker light combos, but you can really add them however you'd like. And speaking of marker lights, one popular bumper that comes with integrated marker lights is the ARB front bumper. I had this bumper myself at one point and really liked the marker lights and the additional turn signal lights that are found within the fog light housing. Some companies even sell aftermarket parts for that bumper that swap out the original housing for LEDs like this product from Slee Off-Road. Or you can at least get these mounts from Paranoid Fabrications that allow you to properly mount LED pod lights that replace the halogen fog lights, unlike me who tried installing them sideways. And you know those little red reflectors in the rear OEM bumper? Well, there are even rear lights that act as running lights and turn signals that you can install into those spots too. There really are just so many options, so do some research and see what unique lights you can find for your builds. But if you're really wanting to spruce up the interior of the FJ, you can do what I did and install lights under the center console to help illuminate the buttons that are there and give the FJ a nice fresh look. I've also added lights under my FJ's doors that are wired into my dome lights so they turn on and off when I open and close the door. They are really sweet. But people like Nesta Edition take it a step further and have added custom lighting to their door handles, cup holders, trim pieces, you name it. The only limitations are your own imagination and wallet. LED marker lights are also available if you wish to swap out the OEM marker lights on the front fenders on right hand drive FJs. And I've even seen replacement rear fog and turn signals for the rear bumpers on those right hand drive FJs too. Cool stuff we don't get here in the US, but just another way to modify and upgrade your FJ's lighting. So hopefully with all of that, you now have a better idea of just how crazy you can go with lighting up your FJ. I know for my own FJ build, since I don't wheel a ton at night, I have a more mild lighting setup, but some folks can justify the extreme lighting upgrades and can really light up the night. So just do whatever you like, for whatever your application is and know that there are plenty of options available for us FJ owners to utilize. And with that, we have covered all the lighting options I wanted to cover today. Thank you so much for watching the video and if you're not subscribed, again, subscribe and share this video with your family and friends, especially if they have FJ cruisers. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, please leave me a like, but until next time, happy trails, keep on FJ cruising and take care.